Ladies and gentlemen, this is your reaction. This is the last thing to ever happen in the universe. Bacha, cause guzar not shell. Yes, new cause guzar video. Three hundred and seventy thousand views. This is about two hours. Damn. Obviously, space video gets the most view from cause guzar, which tells me that for all the scientific field, space is the one thing that people love. Obviously. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. The last thing I'm pretty sure is gonna be black holes, right? Black holes are the one that's gonna be there, the last. But last thing to happen, so some kind of a process or something, not just what's gonna left. Now I don't know. Something will happen inside the black hole or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the black hole is the last standing thing. It's, it's either that or black dwarfs. Right? White dwarfs would just become black dwarfs, right? It's either that or black hole. I'm pretty sure it's black hole. It, it must be like. 10 to the power of 100 type of thing like Google here or more than Google here. I don't know like the timeline is insane. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure like something will happen to the universe itself before all this shit happens before we reach that end time. Because this like insanely long time, right? This is so long time that everything we know of stars and everything, all of that will go away. And then there will be a long period of time where like this black, uh, black dwarfs and black holes are just there doing nothing that would be like insanely long time compared to this i'm pretty sure like the time the big bang happened all the way to everything went away that time will be shorter compared to all the time there will be nothing just you know black holes and black dwarfs and things like that i feel like something will happen during that time right and all the other theories of ending the world right uh tear and everything you know uh just cold death and all that thing is i'm pretty sure some of that will happen before the visit reach the end time but then again, just thinking like universe will always be there whether matter stays or not. It's like, it gives you this feeling of empty which is like, okay, I kind of make sense. Everything will just go away in an endless time, but space still will be there. But that just implies that that's like unending, like nothing will be there, it's just empty space and nothing's there, which is like kind of weird. That kind of theory where, you know, it's just a cycle. It just repeats, you know, uh, Big Bang and repeat all this cycle repeats. This kind of feels like good, like at least something will happen. But yeah, that's what it's fun. I love Kuzgazad and Kuzgazad videos about this. It's always fun. So yeah, I've done quite a few Kuzgazad videos, reactions already. If you haven't seen them, check out the link in the season. And let's watch it. The universe today is happy and healthy with exciting things going on. But at some point, the night will turn dark. Everything that once was will peacefully sleep forever. But what is the last thing that will ever happen? And when will it be? Last stars of Black Dwarf. There is such a thing. Is that even a star? Probably haven't heard about it. Let's travel to the end of the universe and look at the last thing. Yeah, After let's go to Messi the rosy birth, time. The universe was a sleepy baby, warm and dark, filled with swirling clouds of hot hydrogen and helium. The story of creation. This is what I get about you know time machine. Let's go to the worst place we can possibly think of the end of times, right? People are like if I had like time machine, I would go to the World War Two times or like when Romans were conquering everything, something like that. Any time you go in the past is gonna be a fucked up time, right? Future, you don't know the future. It might be fucked up as well. Why do you need a time machine? Creation is a story of this gas and where it will end up. Shortly after, the universe got busy making the first generation of stars. They were massive and lived violent lives, forging new elements, only to release most of them when they blew up. Countless stars were born and refined the gas available in the universe, cycling matter around, each generation giving most of its gas and fresh elements to the next. But not all gases returned. Every time a new generation of stars forms, they also make more and more red dwarfs that burn slowly and live for trillions of years. When they die, they don't give their gas back to the universe, but turn it into white dwarfs. So red dwarfs lock up more gas forever. Some more gas is locked forever in other remains of dead stars, neutron stars and black holes, which is bad as it reduces the material available for new stars. Yeah. Today, the universe is a great home for us and will remain so for billions of years. But most of the gas has been used up or trapped over 90% of the stars that will ever be born have been born already. To get to the last thing to ever happen, all other things need to happen first. Yeah, it's really fucked up, right? Like black holes suck in a lot of matter, right? Okay, no information goes away, but because of Hawking radiation, slowly it just goes away through radiation, right? So when the last black hole goes away, it will have like wasted all this like thing, right? If there was some reason to like, you know, if there was some way to explode a black hole, right? 
like a supernova titanic like hypernova type at least it would like you know throw back all the elements that it sucked in rather than slowly you know releasing it by hawking radiation which is like okay yeah i think in the future if people uh become so advanced that they they know a way of like making black hole explode or something releasing all the content from it that would be like that's like an in you know insane amount of energy and all the you know things that universe would be like okay that's like more things like the universe can be universe life is now extended more right at least of the you know th- objects and things more planets can be made more stars can be made. who knows who knows which kind of dominance a species can have going forward the next few hundred billion years will be fun and a great time for galactic exploration but step by step large stars and stars like our sun will die out eventually almost all the stars will be red dwarf <laughs> This is a shit is awesome. Look at that. It's when the fucking sun is touching the planet and burning to the ground. That's when spaces are running. Not before. It's like waited all the way to the end. Stars like our sun will die out. <laughs> when Eventually, the ash is burning. Almost all the stars will be red dwarfs slowly dying. The end of everything. But not quite. In a few trillion years, the cosmic gas will finally have run out. About 88% of the mass of every galaxy will be white dwarfs. 2% neutron stars and black holes and about 10% gas giants and sad brown dwarf losers. White dwarfs are the corpses <laughs> of old stars, not much bigger than Earth, but on average as massive as half. You never see Cosgazad basically jamming a knife in somebody's ribs. This is the first time. Poor <laughs> losers. Of our sun, some even much more. This makes them the third densest objects in the universe after neutron stars and black holes. about a million times denser than the sun today. Since they used to be active stars, their surface can be as hot as 150,000 degrees. White dwarfs are dim, hot, dense spheres that don't do anything anymore. But eventually, even white dwarfs will die because they're slowly losing their heat. It takes at least 10 trillion years, more than 700 times longer than the current age of the universe. As they do their cooling down, the universe around them will irreversibly grow dark as more and more white dwarfs burn out and turn into dead husks, black dwarfs. Spheres of death as cold as space. You know what I think about a lot? Like laws of physics are what they are, right? Some of the things like why is gravity there? We don't have the answers of why in science. Like it's just there. What do you mean why? Right? So that makes me think like what if like things change right now like 13 billion years is nothing compared to the trillion or even a google year that makes me think we are literally at the start of the universe start of the world right we literally the start of it 13 billion is like nothing compared to all that so what if laws of physics and everything changes properties changes the more our universe gets bigger for some reason we might find out one day that everything changes like at the start it was different by the middle of it like sudden trillion years after things change laws of physics change a bit and all the things we know of like how it's going to end might not be the case because we're literally the start of it we are we are assuming a lot of things based on what we have now but what if things change right because it, it, we don't have answers to why and that's the thing science doesn't answer why like why is something there like what do you mean why why is there a gravity what do you mean why so all of this like it's not answers so what if it changes which means the universe might not end ever is itself invisible against the dark backdrop over trillions and trillions of years every object in every galaxy is eventually either ejected into the void or its orbit decays and it will fall into the central black hole and be destroyed in about a quintillion years all galaxies have evaporated and every object is on its own in the center of its own observable universe emptiness as far as can be seen in any direction traveling through black nothingness still There are things that will happen. Black holes are dying slowly. They'll fizzle away by emitting Hawking radiation until they're so small that they die in a final flash of light. This will take about a Google years, 10 to the power of 100 years until the last supermassive black hole dies. A number so absurd there's nothing to compare it to. Yeah. Maybe some living beings could have survived around black holes. But a trillion is an absurd number. You can't really focus on trillion. like billion is like goddamn a trillion anything beyond that google is just like way to like trillion alone is just like come on but even this science fiction option ends now after this unsettling amount of time we're not even close to the end now is the time of the black dwarfs 
It turns out there's some weird physics going on inside the dead husk of stars. The weird physics of black dwarfs. A black dwarf is a sphere the size of Earth, as massive as a star, but almost as cold as absolute zero. Stars stay alive because of their intense heat in their cores. So why do black dwarfs not collapse into a black hole? What keeps them together? Deep inside a black dwarf, matter is squeezed to densities millions of times greater than anything we see on Earth. The pressure is so great that electrons can't combine with the nuclei to form atoms. Instead, matter is weird, degenerate. The nuclei are compressed by the weight of the star, locked into a rigid lattice, while the electrons form a plasma between them. And these electrons hold the star together. We're simplifying, but imagine matter as a subway train and electrons as passengers. If there are empty seats, passengers spread out because they care a lot about their personal space. But as a black dwarf is so incredibly dense, this is like squishing more and more passengers into our train. Gravity is pushing in, trying to collapse it. The passengers are forced to sit and stand close together, which they hate. And so the passengers, our electrons, try to push out against gravity as hard as they can. This way, the electrons that are having a horrible time in the crowded train that's the black dwarf hold up the star. Everything else in the universe may have crumbled already, but these tiny particles push against each other until the end of time. Or they would, if quantum mechanics didn't ruin everything. Mm. Simplifying a lot, when particles get close enough, sometimes they can jump at each other and fuse together. A oh, process quantum called tunneling, quantum yeah. tunneling. Yeah. This happens constantly. Yeah, that is so good. Yeah, that is true, right? That is kind of like in the, you know, the fusion that way. Quantum tunneling is so good. See, that's the thing. We are learning about quantum world a lot slowly and we still like barely scratch that surface. Like this goes back to what I was saying. Like things might change because our understanding might expand. So how different the, you know, like what's going to happen in the end of time would change the more we learn about things. And stars because of their intense heat. It's one of the key reasons stars can fuse elements into new ones. Yeah. But it also happens at a temperature near absolute zero. Just, well, mind-numbingly slowly. slowly. Way too slow. This is the final step to creating the last interesting thing to ever happen in our universe. Here, in this lone black dwarf, something fantastic occurs. Nothing happens for a trillion years. Nothing at all. Can you imagine that? But then, a single fusion reaction. Two Can you imagine a thousand years? Because really imagine, like really feel it, thousand years, right? A thousand years ago in Baghdad, Islam age was high with science and everything. All the stars were being named and everything. Can you imagine that timeline? Yeah, can you imagine 10,000 years? Yeah, that, you know, like, basically we're reaching the human type of shit. So, trillion, let alone 100,000, million, billion, tr come on. This is an insane time. Carbon nuclei combined by quantum tunneling to become magnesium. Another 100 trillion years pass. It happens again, then nothing for another bazillion years. Oh, two oxygen nuclei combine into silicon. As eons pass, the nuclei in the frozen black dwarf slowly combine, making new heavier nuclei. And these take even longer to fuse, but given enough time, they oh, eventually will. No Remember refund. the breathtaking amount of time it took for a supermassive black hole to evaporate? That's a brief moment in comparison to what's going on here. Oh. 10 to the power of 1,000? Damn, that's a big number. The difference between a second and trillions of years has lost all meaning. Over a time so absurd that it has no name, nuclei keep fusing into heavier elements. Until, when silicon nuclei fuse, they form nickel-56. Nickel-56 is radioactive, which means it's unstable. And when it eventually decays and turns into iron, it emits two positrons, antimatter electrons. And these two positrons find two electrons and annihilate them and themselves. Which is a problem. Remember how the Very uncomfortable giant. electrons produce the pressure to hold the star together. Destroying the electron means fewer friends to help them hold up the star. Losing an electron does not give them more space to scratch their butts, it just makes gravity squeeze. Oh my god, supernova is coming, isn't it? Right, this is the time with, this happens, right? We reach the iron stage, right? Positron destroys electron, right? Rather than being fusing, just, you know, it sucks in, right? I'm pretty sure, like, who, like, you know, I'm pretty sure the first time I heard it when I was a kid, long time ago, it was like some 2008 or something, like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's, uh, you know, 
presentation or something. I remember saying that he explained it best way, right? I'm pretty sure it was that. Yeah, so it was a long time ago. But yeah, basically this is what's happening. It's harder, the walls closing in on those that remain. In the case of the most massive black dwarfs, this is catastrophic. Bit by bit, the black dwarf turns into a sphere of iron and yeah. more electrons are annihilated. For at least that, 10 so to the go. power of 1,000 years, almost, but not quite forever, there's no visible change in the entire universe. And then, finally... Yeah. yeah, fusing iron doesn't release energy like that, so it just sucks in, and that's how supernova happens, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The last thing to ever happen, happens. The black dwarf has lost one too many electrons. It can no longer support its immense mass and goes into an uncontrolled collapse, a supernova. Dang. It first implodes and then explodes as bright as a galaxy and fills the empty universe with light again. A beautiful moment nobody will get to enjoy. And then, as quickly yeah. as it began, it's all over. Darkness yep, again. Emptiness. That was the last thing that will ever happen. The universe may now be truly dead. But don't be bummed out about it. This is so far away in the future that forever hardly describes it. Today, the universe is the best place it could be for us. And you can sleep tight tonight, knowing the last interesting thing that will ever happen is forever long away. Yep, there you go things to discover and the younger you start discovering the more you'll understand about the world we live in our sponsor kiwico helps yeah well uh go to kiwico.com for us because that and support this channel yeah uh, so the last thing that will happen more than a google year will be like black dwarf collapsing because it is fusing slowly it will reach the iron right rather than releasing energy it will just suck in second before it just like yeah, implodes and then explodes supernova basically and destroying itself so that's what I, that will be the last thing ever and what that then just emptiness i'm hoping that since we are such a I mean like i say young age right universe the properties will change right that's a thing i hope that's a thing that even physical properties change going forward like i don't know trillion years from now whatever right trillion quadrillion years from now things change slowly and that will basically signifying that like nothing will ever end type of thing because otherwise, I don't know, like what emptiness is it? To humans, emptiness is just like, you know, when we think about it, it's just it's like, oh, what the fuck? But who knows? Like, it doesn't have to make sense, right? What is reality is reality. It doesn't have to make sense. It is what it is. But yeah. Right, well, that was the last thing that to ever happen in the universe by Channel Cosgler Nutshell. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.